the hottest movie review on the internet today, the A-List Review. I am your host, the Game Changer, Wes Truth. And as you can see, it's time to go back to the theater. And ladies and gentlemen, this is actually a movie that I saw maybe about a month ago. <laughs> and I'm finally getting around to reviewing this movie. It just kind of fell through the cracks. Uh, it is a interesting film, to say the least. My review of the 2019 romance film, The Sun is Also a Star, coming up next. Natasha Kingsley, a young quantum physics student, is desperately trying to find a way to stay in America as her and her family are scheduled to be deported to Jamaica the next day. After almost being hit by a car, Natasha is saved by Daniel Bay, a would-be medical student on the way to an interview. While Natasha doesn't believe love exists, Daniel claims he could make her fall in love with him in the course of one day. After spending time with each other, they do begin to develop feelings for each other, but still have to deal with Natasha's looming deportation. So what did I think of The Sun is also a star? I thought it's a charming romantic drama. It's yet another YA romance novel adaptation, and by its preview and from past experiences with this genre, I expected it to have some kind of wild twist ending. My money was on some kind of extraterrestrial surprise. <laughs> Thankfully, that's not the case, as the film plays things rather straightforward. The premise of Daniel trying to get Natasha to fall for him in the course of a couple hours sounds a little bit silly, but the two have very good chemistry and are likable enough that we root for things to work out for them. While there are obviously some political messages throughout dealing with deportation, it's done well and the way it's portrayed doesn't make things too divisive for audience members. I also like that they learn about each other's family lives and cultures, and we get a look back at their backstories, which can actually be pretty interesting. They also have some trouble with their family members about the relationship, as Natasha's parents just want her to stop goofing off and get home, and Daniel's unpleasant brother who keeps putting his two cents in. There are also some corny ideas here and there, and while I like the idea of the two keep, that they keep running into each other by coincidence or fate, the film could have been a little more casual about it, as it kind of beats us over the head with it after a while. There's also a few scenarios that seem a little over the top to be happening, even in this film's plot. Some of the better moments deal with the two characters just getting to know each other chatting at a coffee shop or visualizing the future that could be via musical montage at a karaoke bar. Speaking of the music, I really like the choices for the soundtrack. The cast stars Yara Shahidi as Natasha Kingsley, the young woman who's trying to stay in the country who unexpectedly meets a special new person in her life, Charles Melton as Daniel Bay, the wannabe poet interviewing for medical school who saves Natasha and tries to get her to fall in love with him, and John Leguizamo as Jeremy Martinez, the official trying to help Natasha stay in the country. The Sun is Also a Star is entertaining enough, packs in some sweet moments, and the chemistry between the leads makes it one of the better recent teen romances. I'm going to give it the rating of... Do it. All right, well, that's the show. I'll be back with another review very soon. But until then, don't forget to subscribe right here on YouTube. YouTube.com slash Westside of 515. Like the show on Facebook, Facebook.com slash West True Playlist. And of course, you can follow me on the Twitter and the Instagram at West Playlist. Until next time, Truth out.